Well, hello there, wonderful teachers and homeschooling parents or parents that are using Google Slides activities. Um, this is a tutorial about the Cinco de Mayo Google Slides Build a Pinata. Now, I want to first off say that um, this grade level is for little ones that I did originally design this for, but you can alter the slides for older kids. And that's why I did choose the pinata as the center of attraction because it is little kids starting from pre-k to maybe up to third grade but if you want it higher than uh, third grade then you can of course change out slides and alter them yourself this is actually for teachers who also celebrate single day mile at their school or in their community some uh, teachers do celebrate Cinco de Mayo and some do not, but this is for the teachers that do celebrate Cinco de Mayo. Just wanted to be very, very clear with that. So let's go ahead and walk through the tutorial. Of course, I like to keep my slides the same for these build um, Google Slides activities because then the kids are very, very familiar with them and you don't have to keep re-explaining it each time. So of course, the second is the directions. And uh, the great thing about when I'm talking about social studies or science, I actually uh, put in a video that they can watch and a few facts that they can learn from that you guys can read out loud or aloud together and have discussions. Now, this is pretty much the social studies and historical part. And the next three or four slides is just really talking about what you'll see at a celebration. So there's two parts to this Cinco de Mayo Google Slides. It's the actual historical part, but then there's what will you see at a um, Cinco de Mayo celebration today. And um, that is what the next four slides are about. And then you could talk about that. You'll see traditional Mexican food. You will see traditional party traditions for kids. And that is the pinata, which I have seen many times at a Cinco de Mayo celebration. Um, you will also see dancing and attire. And at our school, it's really fabulous because they used to have these really, really big festivals at our, and events at our school where it, the kids would actually dress in the um, original attire and the young boys and they do these amazing cultural dances. Um, now they still celebrate it, but just not on such a large scale. And again, you will see people dressed in the traditional attire. So it's really fun when you are incorporating it. And again, this is for pre-K to K to first grade, second grade-ish, can push it to third grade. And that's why you see the animated characters on this slide. You will also incorporate what they've learned by testing their memory with true and false. And pretty much all you do is just slide over whether this is true or false. And of course, Cinco de Mayo in Espanol or Spanish means May 5th. So this is really testing their memory and their language skills because we know that Cinco de Mayo, Cinco is the number five. And then you'll just slide over. Yes, it's a large celebration as well. And then you'll just test the other ones. Okay, their knowledge, just a little bit. Uh, and then you'll get to the fun part. Little learners always like to see something that they can build or color. So they'll just put the pinata together, like so. And these are the legs. And this is actually fun for me to do the first time, so. And then they can just pretty much decorate the scene around it. And the tail, of course. And then you could put the banner or place the banner on top. Very easy for an adult. Might take a, little, a child a little bit longer, but it's still fun to do. Uh, again, if you go to a Cinco de Mayo, you can reiterate to the children that when sometimes when you go to a Cinco de Mayo celebration, you'll see kids hitting a pinata and talk about what a pinata is. And then they will write about the pinata. And maybe they can write a little story about the pinata. Okay, and then you have an answer key and place where you can click to go to the tutorial if you are sharing this slide. I hope that this tutorial was helpful. I'm going to actually start making tutorials for kids for these slides because I know 
that that may be helpful for teachers when they can actually play a tutorial that says hi kids this is how you would do this activity type of thing so i think i'm going to start making those types of tutorials as well until next time thank you thank you for supporting and please like subscribe and follow and share on this channel goodbye